What is up guys, you got Not The Worst here, bringing you this week's Patch Notes recap. We got a lot of stuff, and starting off with what everybody was, not everybody, what there was a lot of whining about and everybody crying about, I, again, I guess not everybody. Uh, whatever, your your try accessory event is here, um, that you're looking for. Uh, now I did a video talking about how it worked uh, in the Korean version of the game last year when they had it, um, so you can check that out for kind of the walkthrough. I will record actually doing it um, once it's available. It doesn't actually give out the first uh, challenge till later this evening, um, as it doesn't count Wednesdays for the day. It's six days a week. But basically, you're going to have the opportunity to possibly get a free try uh, accessory. The first week, this week, is going to be a crescent ring. The following week will be a tri narky ring, then Bazzi belt, and then ogre ring. How it works, just a quick kind of thing. You're going to get um, these little diddly things here um, from the whatever login reward like thing and then being logged in for so long you're gonna get these little diddly things here you do a little quest you get a thing you do a thing and you enhance it anyways there'll be a video on it once i can actually do it and record it and see it or if you're really super interested you can obviously just check out this page or take a look at a video from last week where we actually talked about in depth exactly how it works uh but i'm sure most everyone kind of knows because this was talked about and talked about and talked about for the last couple of weeks so anyways next event we got the cron collector event that's going to start uh it's already up and live now this one, a uh, pretty pretty simple way to just get some extra cons. Basically, same old uh, hunting uh, hunting monsters, gathering and fishing will get you uh, not actually hunting. You know, you know what I'm talking about killing killing the bros, just kill them out. And you get the drop, and then you can turn in 10, 20, or 30 for a corresponding cron stone box, which you can see the 10 one will give you one to five, the 20 will give you five to 10, and 30 will give you 10 to 20 cron stones. Pretty nice little boost to just getting some cons if you're trying to get a, a little safe enhancement in. Uh, pretty neat little event to have there. I don't think we've had something like that before. We've had third an anniversary special attendance, which is starting as well. We kind of know how attendance rewards. Box of Wonders is good, is gone, which I'm glad. No more Shikatu boxes. See if the market recovers at all. But since we have this uh, try accessory, and even if you fail, you can get a duo accessory just for trying it every day or attempting the, the quest each day. So uh, I suspect a lot of the items are still going to be somewhat flooded. And there's also some amount of people, I'm sure, that were hoarding items from Shikatu boxes because the prices were pretty atrocious. And I'm not really sure how they're going to recover, but only time will tell. Um, Shadow Arena countdown rewards are out. Shadow Arena bonus mission event rewards also out. Uh, some new content here. Black Spirit safe feature has been added. You can receive Shadow Arena rewards and family fans th and family fans funds through the Black Spirit safe. That is a tongue twister if I've ever seen one. Uh, added Arsha chest exclusive for child characters. Feature that allows you to extract materials when using uh, the fi or crafting firing Nuver and fiery Kudum sub weapon. They actually talked about this in last week's patch notes that this was going to be coming. Uh, some system things here. We fixed an issue where the chat would not be displayed at the top center of the area when using the command prefix. Uh, when extracting materials from Fiery Nuver and Fiery Kudum sub-weapon, while the dur durability is depleted, the weapon's durability will not recover. Limitations of the amount of silver you can have has been removed. You can now have more than 100 million silver, and as far as I can tell from that, it means you can have as much silver as you want to carry on you, and there's no weight limit, so it is a new day in Black Desert Online, and trading will at least not be quite as cumbersome as it was with that 100 million sir, uh, silver limit. Fix an issue with the War Hero title would reset during maintenance, and you can now whisper to the Game Masters even when you're playing in privacy mode. Central Market, fix an issue where the search results were not matching the type of search when you search without ever changing the search type. At the Central Market, fix an issue where the register button in the cell window would uh, not be displayed normally in certain languages. Fix an issue where the prices and the graphs of the order and cell window would be negative numbers and default search settings when searching for items at the Central Market has been set to all instead of by category. Shadow Arena damage dealt by the following skills is changed due to the skills also being changed in main gameplay. Please refer to the rest of the patch notes for more details on the skill changes of individual classes. We'll check those out in a little bit when, it's, when it breaks them down in the, uh, in the overall skill change there. Uh, Black Spirit issue was fixed in Navigational Guide and Possessed Guide would be displayed when you had ranking points. Bonus mission window will expand when the descriptions for the missions are long. Fixed an issue where the time remaining skill descriptions would overlap and resolutions lower than 1600 by 900. Added a sound effect which plays when the red no uh, boss Red Nose appears and dies in the Shadow Arena. When screen occasionally freezes on the loading screen, the loading sc uh, screen will now close after a certain period of time. Fixed an issue where the silver rewards were not displayed properly in the rewards menu within the Shadow Arena lobby. Notification icon which appears at the top right of the Shadow Arena will continue to be displayed when Shadow Arena is open. You connect. Shadow Arena banner on the bottom right side of the screen will no longer be displayed when you cannot enter Shadow Arena. I would wish it would just not be displayed at all. Honestly, it pops up all the time. Super annoying. Uh, let's see what we got here for Game World. A giant mysterious object appeared near the ancient stone chamber. Jared Domongat is now the stone chamber excavation lead. The knowledge entry for Jared Domongat has been changed accordingly. You will not consume energy when obtaining the ancient stone chamber knowledge from the stone chamber excavation lead. Uh, background visuals... 
stages have been improved, fixed a temperature humidity information issue, removed a floating bush uh, from the forest of seclusion. Floating bush, that's what they used to call my ex-wife. Haha, <laughs> next. That was a joke. Anyway, uh, mounts. Message that appears when a horse flute is used too far away from the horse is trying to call has been changed. Class changes. Here we go. This is some cool stuff here. Other than the Tri Accessory event, this is something that was pretty interesting. I've played around with some of the skills. Uh, we now have Black Spirit Rage skill expansion added for each class. So you can take a look at what skills it is, but basically if we take a look at your warrior here, um, you now have the ability to use a 50% Black Rage skill, and you also have a, depending on the situation, sorry, 10, 25, or 50% Black Rage skill, depending on the situation. So basically if you use your uh, Solar Flare Diddly Guy here, um, if you are while holding shift and right mouse button for it, you press left mouse button. So you kind of hit like the two keys with both the mouse clicks almost at the same time. To do it, you'll get the additional effect, uh, spin extra three hits, smash attack extra two hits, and bound on good hits as well, um, in addition to what it does on the normal skill. So this is going to make some interesting things. I personally, obviously, I play DK main. So for me, what I've been messing with, we have, where's DK? All the way down here. So check out your skill list, obviously. Personally, I really like the uh, Spirit Hunt one. Um, that's added in there. It's additional range and like an extra hit on it and also does uh, so now it applies stiffness along with it, which is pretty cool. Um, so definitely some added elements into PvP and how to manage your Black Spirit Rage and what you're doing from there. Although if you're just uh, sneaking up on someone while they're, you know, just grinding away and don't see you, you're probably still just going to drop your 100% on them when they're not looking. So they're just insta dead. But that's the way the game goes. So uh, now we got fixed an issue where the hit effect would not be properly displayed on monsters when using certain skills while on a mount. You can see the list of them uh, listed here for each class and what they were. I know we all do a lot of mount grinding, so of course that was super noticeable previously. Um, now class changes, we got skill counter, uh, now work normally even when the RMB is held while using the skill. Improved graphics on impact effect, improved graphics for direction of sword swings. Hit damage dealt by the following skills have been increased. This is talking about, uh, this also references what they were talking about in the shadow arena changes to go alongside with this. Um, you can see we've got some increased damage on shield strike. Uh, both at one and two levels there and the hit damage and number of hits dealt by the following skill has increased as well The kick is from hit damage 130 to 225 I'm not going to go ahead and read each of the numbers for every class because it has these for almost all the classes And it will get quite lengthy, but I'll mention what skills we are looking at hit damage dealt by the following skills have been increased However, the skills will now deal less damage during PvP and on cooldown with the chopping kick series there You can see the damage increase there ranger. We got that for dash kick and crescent kick however damage is also reduced in pvp and we got round kick also increased fix an issue where the hit effect would not be properly displayed on monsters when using dagger protection pinpoint or spin kick sork we got low kick shadow kick shadow riot high kick and scattering shadow all increased as well although lowered in pvp berserker on the other hand got those improved graphics for the direction of blood splatter for the skill flow slugfest so didn't miss out on Berserker at all. The Durandal outfit set descriptions will now display the following effects, the same as every single uh, costume in the game, so that makes sense. Uh, Tamer got improved damage on Flurry of Kicks, uh, Tree Climb, and improved graphics on a whole mess of stuff, so that's there. Valk got Flurry of Kicks, and Flying Kick, and Double Flying Kick. There's a little bit of a theme here, isn't there? Musa got Upper Kick, Blunt Kick, and Sweep Kick, also Roundhouse Kick, and some improved graphics as well. And what do you know, Kuno got exactly the same set with improved graphics to be included with that. I'm sorry, I meant I said uh, Kuno, I meant Meiwa, my bad. Ninja, we've got improved graphics on a bunch of skills, and the damage for Flow Kick Down will now be applied properly. Then his damage increase, although lowered in PvP, we got Throwing Kick, uh, Floor Sweeping, and Kick Down the Flow. Kuno also has the same ones. DK, we got the uh, damage adjustments on Unveiled Dagger and Hidden in Strike. Of course, deal, damage now deals less in PvP for those. And Striker, tie back Kick. Tie back Kick? I don't know, man. It's their Kick thing. Uh, Mystic's Blown Some Drives, Soul Basher, and Lawn Pendulum Kick, etc. Spirit Arrow on Archer. And he's also got Starting Pointing Conditions for the Forgotten Brothers quest has been changed. Before, obtained through Orwin at Western Guard Camp. Now, obtained through Kama Sylvia during the Archer Ascension Quest. His Spirit Arrow, Raygun Spirit, Gaping Darkness, Winged Strike, Volant Kick, Earth Kick, and Ascending Spirit were all increased in damage as well. Fix an issue where you could not sell the Desert Tent tool to the NPC. Accuracy plus 10 has been added to a whole bunch of low-grade uh, weapons that can be purchased from NPCs. We'll take a look at the Pearl Shop in just a moment. And we had an issue fix for the guide with uh, the Awakened Black Spirit Summon Scroll that was incorrect. Um, we already talked about, we now, oh, sorry, that was a different one. Uh, there's no longer a 1 million silver restriction when using the get all function to collect in-game mail. That's pretty cool. Fix the issue of the sound effect that plays when accepting when a rule of peace travelogue would 
sound in a more timely manner. Monster change, you can now have a certain chance to obtain the Ancient Magic Crystal of Nature Adamantine from Wandering Rogues, Soldier's Grave, and Pirate Island. Improved attack patterns of the boss monsters to make the Drift, uh, excuse me, Dark Rift more unique. For Ancient Peturum, Farid, Mogulus, Kaku, Dastard Veg, I actually haven't gotten um, any Dark Rifts today, so I haven't had a chance to see if it actually changed, because I know Peturum could be a little bit annoying when you're not trying to kill him and not paying attention. The others, oh, Gahaku has that crazy attack too, if you're not prepared for it. Times for world boss monsters appearing for NA is adjusted for daylight savings times. Change the certain attack skill effects for the boss monster Mogulis. Change the summon location of boss prince of invaders. Quest and knowledge uh, adjustments here. We got reduce the difficulty level of the ritual quest. Fix an issue where you're unable to accept side quests related to Jordan NPC due to Jordan disappearing with the introduction of the quest renewals. Since the character creation location has changed to now be near Ancient Stone Chamber area, the background of the area has changed to be a, to appear more lively. Characters going through renewed quests can obtain knowledge through the following quests. All these little Ancient Chamber ones, one through five there. Fix an issue where you cannot obtain reanimated Ancient Paturum knowledge. When defeating the Ancient Paturum boss, summon from the Ancient Paturum summon scroll. Improve the quest's auto-navigation for Eileen's request. Uh, dark portal issue fix and Black Spirit guide on how to use summon scroll no longer appear when going through the Stop Elrezra's plot quest. Interface changes. Uh, UI appears when you attempt to reconnect to the game will be the same as UI, which appears when you change servers. Uh, improve issue with more hero listing. Linking effect added. Monster HP bar color will change depending on its HP, even when you do not have the monster's knowledge yet. This was weird, and the, the, just the colors that they picked was like innately weird for it going down. And then somebody uh, on Reddit had like a post up of like the colors of the rainbow and how this is super all over the place. And I gotta say, I agree a little bit. Like, why is it like max is yellow, but then purple? At 75 to 50, 50 to 25 percent red. It's it's weird, but whatever. I'm sure they'll adjust it after there's enough Reddit posts complaining about it. Next, uh, customization edit history button will now be properly displayed. Fix the issue where the amount of silver in possession was incorrectly displayed when trying to purchase a house while having more than 2.1 billion silver. Uh, some resolved issues. Fix an issue with screen would occasionally turn black. Uh, of course, we got all the little graphical fixes. Uh, so I'm getting stuck on obstacles when jumping. Yada yada yada. Good old graphic fixes when wearing a certain costume on the second day of the month at 7 p.m. to 6 p.m. And let's check out the Pearl Shop, and we will soon be done here. So, third anniversary sale, part three. We have the Tri Sylvian Wolves pack, and with this pack for 3,300 pearls, you will get uh, a Borum Wolf, Sylvian Wolf, Shadow Wolf, five aliens blessings, and Kanpachao's chewable tablet times 30. So there's a little pet pack for you there, and we've got the Golden Wonders pet pack as well. Um, this is basically the pet pack that we had on a flash weekend sale exactly the same one But they've also added a golden bell to it so that they could increase the price by like 700 pearls uh, From what it was when it was on a fl weekend flash sale. So yeah You have a chance to get golden hedgehog tier 4 hedgehog or tier 3 or tier 2 or polar bear tier 4 3 or 2 as well uh, Golden loyalty is you can check out the loyalty shop and for three loyalties each you can get yourself a gold pop earring Gold pop glasses and gold pop accessory You can also get for three loyalties the old st. Patrick's Day pack to get you a couple different shades of green to dye your stuff We've also got three loyalty coupons in there 20% uh, discount coupon Ooh, it didn't specify but it's actually 20% discount coupon on Something specific and then a 10% discount coupon. Oh inventory. Sorry. It was right there. Gotcha. Yeah, I knew it was specific inventory 20% off pet 10% off So if you're looking to get them might as well use the coupon uh, We've got Archer now has the canap or canape or canape or one of those things a classic set cooking set now for Archer So he's fronting his new shout chef outfit there. We've got the new flore outfit set doesn't look terrible I uh, I, I mean, this is kind of fine. Then we also have, for the males, the Leonidas outfit set. This thing looks pretty cool. I don't know that I would wear one myself, but I also don't play a male character, so there's that. But yeah, this looks pretty cool. I really like the helm. That's pretty awesome. It's been a while since I've seen like a costume where I'm really like, this is, I think, really well done. Like It looks really cool, in my opinion. Guildmaster only getting a reset guild skill item for 2,000 pearls. Uh, we've got the EXP transfer coupons back in the shop. These come around periodically, so you can switch over your life skill XP to another character if you chose choose. They are 2,200 pearls per transfer. And that is it for the Patch Notes and Pearl Shop this week. Uh, some other things going on. Um, I do have a enhancing highlight video coming up from the last few streams that we have. If you weren't there for the stream, I did indeed hit 
Pen Dandelion last night on stream. So I'm going to put together a little something with that. I got some clips of that. I also picked, um, was able to enhance a Tet Crescent as well. So we made some pretty huge gains. And uh, I want to put a little compilation together. I'm going to try to have that out tomorrow, but no promises because the compilation videos take a lot longer to edit uh, than some of the other quick live record ones. Um, so no, no super promises. And then the 20 hour grind video this week uh, should be ready for Friday. I'm already done with the spreadsheeting and the 20 hour grind is I have like three more hours to do between now and then um, and then just record for that. So that will hopefully be uploaded Friday. Uh, that one's almost guaranteed for Friday. The iffy one is Thursdays. Um, recap video from highlights and stuff and then of course we'll be enhancing this Saturday 7 p.m. Eastern if you want to check it out live the twitch description the twitch is in link is in the description below right there if you want to drop a follow so you get a notification when we go live right around 7 p.m. Eastern um, this weekend we are probably going to continue we had a few Voltara tet belt attempts last uh, last stream and we might continue that whether it's Bazzi or Voltara whatever's whatever I get a hold of that's cheap at the time um, and I'll probably pick up another Zarka and we'll start up a new pen journey to going for pen Zarka alongside that. But I haven't decided for sure yet. We might just focus tech accessories for a little while. We'll see. And then we'll hit it again Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern as well. So make sure you check that out. Anyways, that is going to be it for this video. Everybody, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Baby.